Lads, ladies, weirdos and wrong ones. Off on a jolly. It's only a day out. I'll go for a bimble in the air. In the pine forest. Get away from clown town. Knock myself up a better scoff. Give you some tips, tricks and handy hints. And some updated information. Yes. And I've took the hounds for a walk. Spud Gun and Dave Edgehog. Right. Let's get off the beaten track where there's no humans. Come on, Dave Edgehog. Spud Gun. Well, it's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Here's Dave Edgehog. Dave Edgehog don't go fast. Spud Gun does. She likes to run off and mess about in the woods, knee deep in muck and filth. Anyway, when I come here for a little bit of a jolly, never filmed it before of course. Ah uh, yeah, take the old uh, dogs with me. Yeah, take the hounds. Yes, and one of them laid a dog egg in my car this morning, right on my bed. I play snooker with a stick to get it out the door. Yeah, pop brown, have it. Ho oh, ho, yeah. Pop brown, that sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Never mind. Right, yes, I say, I'm on the old path now, but then I'll take a detour down here, get off the beaten track, yeah, and head towards my little spot, which is well off the beaten track, yeah, with no humans. Oh, it's fantabulous. Yeah, you right, Dave Edgehog? Spug gun! Come on! Right, take a detour here. Sounds very noisy over there. Yeah, sounds like a kid's play area. Yeah, all the Canadian carpet commando screaming and shouting and come on, let's pop smoke and go this way. Come on, Spud Gun, you're going the wrong way. Now we have to negotiate the river. Cool river crossing. Get everything in a Gore-Tex BB bag, including yourself, and paddle across the river without trying to get wet. Ooh. Oh, Gore-Tex boots, can you not knock it? <laughs> He's only got little legs. Oh, he has it, have a shake. Come on, Spud Gun. Hey, Red Dog. Let's go. See, it's muddy here. Karens don't like mud. Yes, they like the nice dry path of least resistance. Oh, we're looking now, it's minging. Yes. This is where we took a left into the pine forest. I do like my pine forest. It's full of resources. It's a lousy day though, but hey oh, it ain't raining, it ain't raining. It's not snowing, we're not going. Come on dogs, move yourself. See a big white tail down there. It's getting on, a bit slow. Spudders! Spud gun! Beaver jog! Beaver jog!
think it's uh, it's definitely time to get the kettle on, isn't it? Yeah, you always eat these. Fish. Do you have a jog? Watch out, a jog. Oh, get off. Over there, go. On.
Get out. Bit of chopped pallet, cut down and split with an axe. Great to bring out on a little jolly's day. He saves running around in the rain trying to find dry firewood. Yeah, so it's not kindling bought from Aldi, it's scavenged pallet and prepared. Right. Need to get me my mug out, don't I? Mugs out. It's in my day bag that. I haven't got a J-Dog. Bit of real milk today. Been rude not to. Top bomber. Speaking of top bomber, we'll come on to that later, guys. It would be rude not to. Situation enemy forces update. <sighs> I've got to have a spoon amongst this lot somewhere. Spoon. It's normally in my pants, isn't it? Three of them. Oh, right. Spoon, spoon. Where's the spoon? Spoon. Spoon in here, no spoon in that. Spoon in here, there's got to be a spoon in here. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Got a fork, that'll do. Whoa. Cheers, guys, girls, widows, and wrong ones. Inclusivity. Oh. I've got to put dog on the lead. She ran all the way towards back the car to chase her and bring her back. So that's it. You're getting tied up, dog. Your own fault. Oh. Oh. Nice little bit of warmth off that as well. Because it's been raining. Everything's piss wet through. But hey out. No, I didn't bring a Gore-Tex jacket, it's in the car. I didn't bring a tarp either, because I haven't put any paracord on the new one yet to put in that bag. It's a string between a couple of trees, keep me dry while I'm doing this, but hey, oh, if you get wet, you stay wet. Skin's waterproof. Right chaps, chapesses, weirdos, wrongings. Alphabet people. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook her. Oh, what's happened to my cup? That's the dog. That dog just went wandering off. I let her go. I thought I let her have a walk about. She went wandering off, so I put my cup down. Yeah, to go after her. And I must have put it a little bit too close to the fire. Dicky Delkin's cup is a little bit melted. Just grabbed it now, what the fuck's that? Oh well. I'll have to flatten that down and get some tape on it. Get some sniper tape on it. Fixes everything that does. Uh, I've had to side dog up again now. Keeps running back to the car, which is about a mile that way. Yeah, she never used to. 
just started doing that now. I'm just doing my head in, so I'll let her off, see where she goes. Because normally she just goes for a mooch about and a look about. No, she's bolting straight down the path, straight back to the car. So that's it, she's tied up now. Dave Hedgehog's alright, he follows you everywhere. And just lays dog eggs. Oh, that's all he does. And then comes scrounging for his treats. Whew. Isn't that right, Dave Hedgehog? Oh. Siberia, 43 milligrams this bad boy's got of snooze. Uh, them nicotine ones you get in uh, in Britain. I think the strongest one's 13. Mm. He's having a slash. Right, so I'm gonna have an half in English. I'm gonna make that up. So, that's it. I put that there. The flames must have blown out, and it's it. Me Delkin's mug. Oh, never mind, I'll flatten that out, sort it out. Still getting used. Yeah, it's just got a bit of fucking fire rash on it. Uh, right, I've got three frying pans, three frying pans. I've stuck them in this day bag. I did buy them for bushcraft, so they've not made it from the day sack yet to the bushcraft bag. Yeah, two of them riding in here. Yeah, one of them. I'm going to use it today. Uh, is I bought this from Sweden, Hallmark Jägerpanna, which means hunter's pan. Jägerer is hunter, as in hunting stuff, and panna is pan. So hunter's pan. Yeah, uh, it's cast iron, and it's been seasoned. Happy days, and it's raining. We're going to do this in the rain, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes. And a little doggy poop bag to keep all the charcoal off my rucksack. There's no like a doggy poop bag. And the other one is one of them um, Eagle products, Ray Mays endorsed, all singing, all dancing. Come and get me like a big spunky sex machine uh, frying pan. which has been used, copper bottom, you can just about make it out there, but it's been used. It's, it's Terry Teflon, yeah, and it's got a little thing you put for a, put a stick in over the fire. And that's supposed to lock, but it doesn't look like it's locking much. I might you need to modify that, or whack it with an hammer, either or. Yeah, right, so I'm gonna cut my breakfast to that, and I've got what I do like taking out here. I do like taking out it. Everything's getting wet. What well, I do like taking out it and cooking scoffing is a cast iron skillet. Yeah, that hasn't made it to a bushcraft bag for one reason only. Yeah, it does. Weighs a ton. So it's a cast iron skillet in. It's been seasoned and oiled. And again, in a doggy poop bag because it's good for keeping your kit and carbon and shit and muck and filth from off your bag yeah so that's what I like to do I like swapping pans out here rather than having a dirty great big pan I'll have my sausages cooking because when you take when you take the uh, cast iron pan off you can put it on the floor and it's still hot and it just still cooks your sausages while you fry your eggs and uh, whatever else is you're cooking like your bacon and your black pudding which we haven't got today but we've got some restless legs we'll do that on the teflon or we could do it on the uh, the cast iron one because that's well seasoned crack on that just slides everywhere Ooh, slides everywhere right I keep I pop my head over this uh, stump here she's lying down she keeps buggering off she never normally does that but she's today so she's getting tied up but you're not going anywhere Dave Hedgehog are you? you're a good little doggy wolf wolf you just do massive dog eggs everywhere don't you and I have to pick them up I told you there's one thing I don't do is pick dog shit up. I said, we go to the woods, no dog eggs. And you've done two already. I've got a bag full of shit. That's what he's doing. He just squats and fires them out. Luckily, they're solids, aren't they? You haven't done bum gravy. Oh, look at your little face. Look at He looks like he's been chasing parked cars, doesn't he? Hey, look at him. Yeah, go on, piss off, you wet through. Right, let's get the fire going again and get some Frank Boff. 
I'm having half an English, because I've got no, uh, I've got no black pudding. That's the only thing I haven't got, but I've got everything else. It's not bomber. Yeah, and I will give you some nibbles. I'll give you some treats, and I'll give you some nibbles. Yep. Look, melt me cup. Melt me cup. Right, this resi pouch, British Army issue resi pouch, DPM of course, I keep in the car, and what I keep in there, you've probably seen, yeah, a big loud heron's plastic bag, that's got fat wood in, and then I chop bits of pallet that are four inches for that, and I keep that in there, there's some birch bark in there, and I didn't know I'd put this in here, but I have, I've put a strip of that hammerer in, yeah, so I can light the fire with that instead of messing about, yeah. And that goes in there, so there's basically fuel and fire lighting gear in here. Yeah, so yeah, bits of bits of pallet, bits of birch bark, birch paper, uh, a load of fat wood sticks, them, and that hammer, and happy days. And I keep that in the car. Yeah, and then days out, if it's raining, I'll grab this and take it with me. And then when I get home, I replant it and leave it in the car again for next time happy days stop bombing right let's get this fire going we'll use a little bit of that hammer shall we with the the little uh this is the uh this is the the bits pouch which has everything in yeah fire lighters first aid kit yeah there's all sorts in there ferro rods about three ferro rods in there there's paracord in there lighters in there and uh bits of everything basically so that's your bits pouch. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna have uh, two sausage, two bacon, an egg. I put an egg in here. I wonder if it's broke because I put it on the top of a water bottle pouch. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, there it is. <laughs> it's not broke. Let's get it out now. Let's get it out now and place it there. And I've got a tomato and I uh, can't remember what else. Oh, mushrooms, happy days. So, I'm gonna be jibbying with the pans. Yeah. It's the three pan cooking session. And I better scream in Delkin's top bomber on the top. You know what I'm saying? Come on to that in a minute, guys, top bomber. We're getting places now, we're getting places with uh, tins and labels and postage and sending stuff out for those who've already paid for some. Yours went today in plastic bags, okay. Um, I posted that before I come here. But more on the top bomb of spices later, guys. It is cooking time, because I've nearly finished my brew.
Oh, we can smell that resin. Look at it. Ooh. Get a good whiff of that. So it was uh, <laughs> I had to, I had to laugh. I was watching a YouTube channel, a new one, and they were doing some outdoor cooking, and I had to chuckle. I had to chuckle. I went, "You're serious? You're not serious? You're not cooking that like that?" Yeah. I won't mention any names, but he put uh, he put all his veg. He was making a chicken stir fry, so he put all his veg in his frying pan, cooked all his veg, and then two big lumps of chicken on the top at the end. Yeah. Tips, tricks and handy hints. Whatever takes the longest to cook, i.e. the chicken, cook that first and then pour yeah, your veg and everything else in it. And basically just stir fry it quickly. Yeah. And then he said it was scrumptious. I bet it wasn't. Yeah. I bet he got Torremolinos poisoning after that. Big thick piece of chicken like that shoved on the top of loads of veg and stirred in. I thought you're having a Turkish bath, mate. Yeah. You're going to do yourself some damage, son. You're going to have an arse like a flock of starlings. I was watching it with Beffy Bushcraft. Yeah, we were sat there watching it and going, we're both looking at each other going, he's not, he is, he's not, he is. And she's going, oh, no way, he do. Oh, he doesn't know how to cook, does he? I went, I don't think so. bit squash these, but it's never like squashed mushrooms. Mora Kneeve, Mora Pro C, meaning carbon. The blue one is Mora Pro S, stainless. Yeah, you couldn't get a better knife, yeah, for 11 quid, 10, 11, 12 quid, depending on where you go. So carbon prone to rust. And then they all fight over it. What's better, stainless or carbon? That personal preference, isn't it? I prefer stainless myself. But today, I've got a carbon. Costco. Leather. Three for uh, three pa three pairs for 15, 16 quid I think. I think it's goat leather, I'm not sure, but either way. Let's knock that down because that's not quite level. Because of course, these get up. Cast iron. The handles get up. And you burn your, you burn your Harry Potters.
Swedish Jagerpanna. Yeah, it's like a cast iron. It must be cast iron mixed with something. But that's it. Apparently, you can get them on Amazon. However, they're not cast iron like this. I think they're just steel. 60 quid. I paid 350 kroners for this. Whatever that is in English money. Probably about 30 odd quid. And then, when you take that off, everything keeps cooking because the cast iron stays warm. And then a bit of uh, oil in there. Whoa. Now we're cooking, kids. Now we're cooking. We're top bomber. We're top bomber. Again, all these pans have been seasoned. Meaning they've been heated up with oil and put in ovens and everything. Well, apart from this one, I did this on the stove because obviously it's got a wooden handle. And uh, to make them non-stick. Because people buy cast iron and stuff like that. Put it straight on the stove and everything sticks to it so they throw it away or never use it again. They're not clued up on that you've got to season them first. Where are you going Dave Hedgehog? I'll give you a little bit later because you've been a good little boy haven't you? You've been staying here and you've been good haven't you? Yeah, been chasing parked cars again. Doesn't stick. You know it makes sense. Oh, don't waste any. It's like gold dust. Top bomber spice mate. No salt. Yeah, Claxton. No added salt. Yeah, season your pans, guys. And then nothing sticks. That's it. Oh, that's still a little bit hot, but I might just get it on there. Oh, yes, just about. Well, Chef, then. Let's have a massive slice of fried bread. Goes on everything. Except your bro. In fact, I might just put it in my bro for a laugh. in the muck and filth and ground herbs oh we've got some ground herbs there guys added to the top bomber right a little bit a moniker in my life
round herbs. Come on, let's dish it out. Let's dish it out. What are you slobbering at, dog? What are you slobbering for? Some scoff. Scoff in the woods. It's half in English because there's no black pudding. Herbs on your fork now. Mmm. Ooh, 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 Dave Hedgehog. I can taste the top bomber. I can taste the top bomber, Dave Hedgehog. Mmm. At some point, I'm going to need a knife. At some point. That some point is now. Mmm. Fried bread and top bomber. That is the first time I've had that. And of course I'm going to say it's beautiful. Because when people say stuff on YouTube, they say, Mmm, this is gorgeous, even when it's not. But it is. Mm. Mm. Anyone walks past here now, not that they will, but if they did, they'll go, What's that Muppet doing sat there eating his food in the rain? He got some bacon now. Right, finish my brew. Yeah, happy days. Right, ladies, gentlemen, weirdo from Longans. Top bomber spice mix. I've ordered some tins, not like this. This is a screw on air rifle pellet tin, but it looks very similar. Okay, 150 mil tin, so I don't know how much an 150 mil tin is till it turns up. Yeah, with a label on the top. Oh, I'll show you the label. Yeah, and uh, the top bomber spice mix is coming in a screw on lid so it doesn't empty out in your bag. Yeah, I'll put some pictures up. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know what's happened on uh, on PooTube, yeah, but all of a sudden I've just got, wow, a load of subscribers, new subscribers. Yeah, so I know I've been shadow banned, but something's happened. Something's happened. Um, people are seeing the videos now. Because for the last four years, I think I've got 200 subscribers, <laughs> 300 subscribers, something like that. Yeah, they keep going up and coming down, but all of a sudden it's just gone up, so I don't know what's happened there. Yeah, people are finding the videos now where they never used to be. Yeah, maybe it's because uh, Poochu doesn't like my opinions and things that I say is not the same as what they say, so they don't like it, so they shadow ban you. Yeah, okay. So, uh, that's gone up. Yes, it looks like I've been unshadow banned or something's happened anyway. Yeah, and people are getting to see the videos. But I don't beg for subs, never have done, and I never will do. Yes, right, so I'm going to pop smoke now. So don't forget... You top bomber. Wait till the tins come. I'll put the stickers on. I'll fill them up, and I'll see how many grams of top bomber are in them. But that is not 150 mil. That's an air rifle pellet tin for 177. Okay. I don't know what mil that would be. That might be 50, 70 mil. I don't know. 100 mil. But either way, I've got 150 mil tins. So it's quite a substantial amount. It'll keep you going for ages. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna pack away the rest of this kit. Yeah, and take Spud Gun and Dave Edgeard for another walk because I've had to tie her up because she kept bugging out. Yeah, she's never done that before. Right. 
got some more wounds now. I have my keys stashed in there. We haven't eaten any because I've about I've had a shed load to eat. Top don't go on. That goes in the bag. Side pouch, easily accessible. So if I fancy a munch, yeah, I don't walk far because my legs are shot to bits. <sighs> Maybe a mile or two. That's about it. But not with sixty pound on me back anymore. Maybe thirty. <laughs> right, let's pack up. I'll take Spud Gun and David Jog for a bimble round the woods. Do you want to come with us? Let's go. <sighs> Top bomber spice mix. Don't lose that. Oh, and another thing. Post office prices are going up. I went in this morning when I posted off the top bomber. So I'll let you know what the postage prices is, guys, because that tub is going to have to go as a small parcel. I spoke to the girl. She said, if it's more than an inch, well, hey, if it's more than an inch or 25 million old school money, yeah, the prices are going up. It's going to have to go as second class small parcel. Yeah, or I can stick it in plastic bags, flatten it out, send it as a large letter, much cheaper. Happy day, shut up, hold Shefton, be quiet, I'm trying to talk to the humans. Speaking of humans, guys, yeah, I was sat here having my breakfast, bro. All you heard was somebody behind me going, well, in the distance, eh, eh, you fire, you fire, oh, did you fire, you got a fire, you got a fire, and I'm thinking, I come here to get away from spaztards like you. Go away, don't come in my grid square, you oxygen thief. Yeah, go away, just go away, just go away. I come here for specifically to get away from you spaztards. Yeah, and you can, you get fire, get fire, you'll be on fucking fire in a minute. Now piss you off and leave me alone. Know what I'm saying? Right, let's pop smoke. Right, come on Dave Edgehog, let's go me old mucker. That's it, dump the rucksack. We've chopped down a few trees here, haven't we? There's some fat wood in them stumps. I brought a knife. Cos that's not allowed, that's dangerous, you can't bring knives, it's naughty. You've got to jail for that. Right, yeah, fuck off. So, He's honking it down now, so uh, I'm off back to the car. Set the dogs for a bit of a stroll. Normally I pick up a bit of a, a bit of birch bark here. Here's a log the other week. I was uh, nicking stuff off. Yeah, I got a bit of birch bark. I was just talking to the lad up there. This area that's been chopped down. Yeah, and he's replanting. I said, what are you planting, mate? Pine again. He went, no, cedar. I said, all oh, right. I said, who cut this down? Because they made a right fucking mess, aren't they? He said, oh, it's the Forestry Commission rotation. I said, what do you mean rotation? He said, oh, yeah, I've got to chop trees down. I said, got to chop trees down as well. I said, what are they doing it for? He says, oh, I'm not quite sure. I said, profit? And he just uh, carried on digging. Yeah. Look at the state of it now. Used to be a lovely wood. Pine woodland here. Right, rain's coming down, guys. Let's get back to the motor vehicle where it's nice and dry and warm. Spectacular! Ooh, is it worth salvaging that? But that's what you want. Nah, I'm off. Come on, Spud Gallon! David Jog! Come on, it's raining! Go get wet! Come on! Moth. Woohoo! See you next time. Yeah, just a little one, this, a little bit of a jolly, a little day.
way out and take dogs for a walk. Yeah. Get away from the humans. But he found me, didn't he? You got fire! He's got fire! Oh look, you got fire! She's smoking, you got fire! You piss off, you spastic. Fuck you now. Right, see ya. I'm out of here. Come on, dogs. Let's go somewhere where it's dry. You can lay dog eggs in comfort.